Hey guys, it's Alan from DW again, and welcome back to DW Soundworks. In this video, I'm going to go over the set list inside Soundworks, how you can add songs and kit presets, how you can rearrange your list, how to save and load your list, and probably a little bit more. Let's jump right in. All right, let's take a look at set list in Soundworks. On your drums page, bottom left next to favorites is your set list. And on the left side, you have a metronome you can use at all times for practice, rudiments, what have you. Uh, just turn it on, simply click the metronome. And to turn it off, yep, you guessed it, hit it again. You have a BPM option right here at the bottom left. You can change to whatever you need, time signatures as well. In the middle, you have a level control. It takes you down to nothing and up to unity. If you control click it, it'll be at minus two to three, somewhere in there. We have three sounds for you to choose from. Clave, click, and cross stick. Clave really cuts through nice. Accent, you can turn on or off. That's accent on one, obviously. And then you have your out that you can choose uh, where you want this to send to. I'm just using my Mackie big knob here, so it's just the two channels. On the right side, we have our song list uh, that we can build here. It comes with a blank uh, spot there for you to get started. If you click on song, you can give that a name, my song. And then if you click on preset, you'll see it brings up the kit presets ready to choose from. I'm just going to choose this natural here. And you come down and add the song to that preset that's highlighted. And now I have my song with the preset I want to use. I can change my BPM and time signature if I wish to. To add the next song, uh, let's say you're in a band. It's going to play five songs in the first set. You just go ahead and add your four more songs. I'm just going to number these instead of giving them complex names. And five. And then you just highlight one, choose the preset you want to use. We'll choose Chops and add that one to the song right there. And then I'll choose my third song, choose my preset, and go to my next one and add to song. And then I'll choose my fourth one and go down to add to song right there. And then my fifth one, highlight that, choose another one, and add to song. And there's several ways you can do this. You can use your icons on the right side. It will add new ones down here at the bottom. I'll do one so you can see. It will add it like that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. If I need to reorder anything, I can just move stuff up like that. However, I need to reorder. Now you can see they're all out of order. If I need to change BPMs, I can do that and hit Enter. And type signatures as well. Most songs are in 4.4. We'll just leave them. Uh, this is always live being saved straight to your default set list that you see right here. So if I were to close Soundworks right now, reopen it, come back to my set list tab, it would be exactly the same. So a great use case for this is if your band sits down and says, we're going to use these five songs, but you don't know what presets you're going to use yet. Well, you can go ahead and make that list here and then... Whether you do it with them or do it later, you can go back and choose your presets at a later time. It will be live saved here at all times for you. When you finally have your list the way you want it, you can come right here to your save menu, hit save as, give it a name. I'll just call this set A and hit OK. Now you have your set A, which is right here. It's also saved as the default. If I go back and reload the default, you'll see that nothing changes because that's what I saved it from. If I go back and change this, and take everything out. So I'll go ahead and close that. And then I load a set A. You'll see that's set A. If I go back and load my default, you'll see that it is empty. The ones that you save for yourself, you do need to save those. But your default always follows anything you're doing. So let's go ahead and load that set list A. This is my set list A. So how do the previous and next buttons work? So you go to your gig, you get set up, and everything's ready to go. If you hit next, you'll see that it'll highlight the very first song. So you're, you're ready to go, or you could have just simply highlighted it yourself. Uh, but it's ready to go. Um, if you decide to start on a different song, you can just hit next a few times, or you can go back. So we're going to start on song one. When your band's ready to go, you hit your metronome, and it'll start playing at 80 BPM. You play that song. As you can see, it also, by the way, loads your kit up here. Uh, that was a given. And it also gives you the song name there uh, in the little parentheses. So now I've finished that song. The band needs to hear what the next tempo is. You just hit next. Now you're, you're getting that tempo for the next song. And your kit has already loaded. You'll see the song name is 5, and 5 is in the song name. Play that song. As soon as you're done, hit next again on your laptop. You'll see that Chops Pocket Funk just loaded up. It's song 2, Chops Pocket Funk, song 2. It's very intuitive. It gives you time to make decisions, get your set list set up just right. 
You can do multiple set lists, and between your sets, you can just load the next one uh, while you go take your break, come back, and it's ready to go. And when your band's ready to start, you just hit next to get to the song you're going to start on and click your metronome to get started. And it loads your kit nice and fast, verifies your song name at the top, and then you're good to go. Hey, thanks for sticking around. I'm glad you made it this far, and I hope our video helped you. I hope I was able to shine some light on a lot of the features and sound works that will help you get started making your own presets. Please be sure, if you haven't already, to go ahead and subscribe below so that you can get notified of upcoming tutorials. I'm going to have probably several more come out that will help you uh, dig even deeper into Soundworks. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.